morning guys! Today I'm reviewing the Black & Decker air fryer. This air fryer cooks by using heat and a dual fan convection system to circulate hot air around the food. It's about 10 inches wide, 13 inches tall, and a little over 13 inches deep. The instruction manual has a cooking guide with time and temperature for frozen snacks, frozen vegetables, french fries, chicken, hamburgers, and a few recipes. To use the machine, you plug it in, Turn the bottom knob to set the temperature. The timer knob is what turns the unit on. Turn the timer knob to the desired cooking time. This unit does need to heat up first before you add food, so add about five minutes to the timer so the unit can heat up. The power and heating lights will go on. When the heating light goes out, that means the unit has reached the temperature that you set. You'll hear a bell when the timer runs down. That also shuts down the unit automatically. If you want to turn it off manually, just turn the knob counterclockwise to zero until you hear the bell. There's a cooking guide on top of the unit with time and temperature for french fries, hamburgers, frozen vegetables. It is a little bit small, so it might be difficult for some people to read. You can also reheat food in this unit at 300 degrees for up to 10 minutes. There's an insert that comes with this unit. You can put this in the basket if you want to cook multiple foods at the same time and you want to separate them. Pull the basket out. To remove the basket, push this plastic part forward and press here on the black tab and just pull out the basket. This basket is non-stick. Just push it down and it locks. Make sure to push the plastic tab back before you put the basket in the unit. This way the basket doesn't accidentally come unlocked. Make sure you hear that click and that means that the basket is locked into place. To test out the unit, we'll make french fries first. The best amount of fries to use to get crispy fries is 8 ounces. So this is about 9 ounces of potatoes, 2 medium potatoes that I've cut into the size of regular french fries. I've rinsed this in water and dried them with a paper towel. I've mixed the potatoes with 1 teaspoon of oil as suggested in the manual. For french fries, the temperature should be set to 400 degrees and the time should be 20 minutes and you have to shake the fries halfway through. I'll set the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. There are also Celsius markings on here. The timer I'll set to 15 minutes since it takes five minutes to preheat. After the 15 minutes, I'll shake the fries and set the timer for another 10 minutes. That's 15 minutes. You can see both lights have turned on. Take the basket out. When you take the basket out, the unit will automatically turn off. Put the fries into the basket. Don't just dump the plate with the oil directly into the pan because you don't want any excess oil in the bottom of the pan. The pan is a little bit on the smaller side. Put this back in. The machine sounds like a fan when it's on. It sounds like a loud hum. It's been 15 minutes, we'll check on the fries. The handle does stay cool to the touch. The rest of the unit is warm, but it's not that hot. I'll take the basket off and just shake it. It's non-stick, so it's moving around nicely. You can see it is getting nicely browned. Put it back and set the timer for another 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes, take this out. Most of them look really nice and brown. There are a few in the middle that are white, but most of them are nice and golden brown. And because the basket is non-stick, they don't stick to the pan. It's easy to get the fries out of the pan. I'll check if this is done. It's nicely cooked. And as you can hear, they are crispy. So it's a really good job on the fries. Some air fryers suggest soaking the potatoes in water for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes, then draining it and cooking it. But with this, we didn't have to even um, soak anything. We just rinsed it in cold water and the potatoes came out nice and crispy. It's a really good result. They taste very close to regular fried french fries. I can't stop eating these. That's why there are less fries on the plate. For using only one teaspoon of oil for two potatoes, these are great french fries. I've reviewed a few air fryers so far, and with the exception of the Philips air fryer, these are probably the best fries. 
So I stopped myself from eating more fries and decided to make you some chicken. These are drumsticks. I usually make you wings in the air fryer reviews, but um, they were out of wings at the store, I guess because of the holiday season. These are medium sized drumsticks with the skin on and the bone in. I've seasoned them with salt, garlic powder, chili powder, and paprika. Since they have the skin on and the skin has fat in it, I have not put any oil on the chicken. We'll cook the drumsticks at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. So the most you can comfortably fit in this basket is four medium-sized drumsticks. The chicken doesn't have to be turned or shaken halfway through like with some other food. So I'm going to set the timer to 25 minutes. 350 degrees and 25 minutes. There is a noticeable plasticky smell when using the unit. The timer's gone off, 25 minutes are up. The chicken looks brown and crispy. I'll check to see if they're cooked. There's some grease on the pan and the bottom of the basket. Cut into the big one here. Okay, it's nicely cooked. Looks very juicy. Taste this. The meat is really juicy. And the skin is crispy. I'll cut into another one. Again, cooked really well. All the pieces are cooked, but I noticed that the top of the chicken is cooked more than the bottom of the chicken. The bottom of the chicken is the part that was sitting on the tray, and that's less cooked. Even though it is cooked, it's not as tender as the top. So what I would suggest doing is turning it halfway through the cooking. And that will give you a more even result. But for the most part, it's cooked nicely and the skin is pretty crispy. Because the basket is non-stick, it's gonna be easier to clean. Just wait for the machine to cool down completely. I like to just wipe the grease off with a paper towel and just wash this out with hot water and soap. The basket and separator are dishwasher safe. The outside of the unit and the inside can be wiped with a damp cloth. As you saw, this Black & Decker did a great job on the fries and a good job on the chicken. With the chicken or with anything else you cook in here, I would suggest turning it over halfway through cooking, just to get a more even cooking result. If you want to try out this unit, I've put a link in the description below. I hope you found this review helpful as always. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.